Today, in honor of the ceasefire, it is Sacred Space Saturday, where people are um, putting balloons or anything in spaces where people have been murdered. My brother, David, was murdered um, in this block in 2007. My mom has never been here, and so she said that if people all over the city were honoring their loved ones and creating sacred spaces, then she wouldn't feel alone. What? is inspiring for me is that this feels like it's the worst that it can get, right? But when things are the worst, that's not the time to stop because the worst means it can't get any worse, it's about to get better. And so even as bad as things feel right now, everybody who's losing their lives tells us to keep pushing because things are, are getting better. But if we stop, they'll just get worse and they'll never get better. People have been asking me after their child got killed, can you please come to the space and clean that space and honor and make it blessed, make it sacred. And so I've just been this person now that's in all of these murder spots, right? Sitting on grounds and in dirty hallways and, you know, and just making my body relive all of the pain in that place so that I can push through the pain and bless it and bring it up to light. And so the idea is to understand that the places where we lose people are sacred spaces, that concrete is sacred, that grass, that street, that pole that's right there, all of that is sacred ground now. Peace. We are strong. My superpower is the ability to get back up. I fall and fail and burn and crash a lot I have in my life. My superpower is the ability to get back up and remember what it was like when I was ashes so that I can walk in these streets and talk to people and not look down on anybody because I remember being ashes and thinking that I was ashes, you know? And so my superpower is the ability to rise.